Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We're playing as Inter. This is episode 4 of the career mode series. We're back on FIFA's Realism mod. We're going to be kicking things off with a match against Empoli to get things going. Let's go. Seven minutes in. Inter looking to dominate this match from the get-go. Lautaro. Nice ball to Lukaku, who turns his man and smashes it into the back of the net. At San Siro, at home, Romelu Lukaku adds another goal to his crazy tally this season. Empoli looked to answer quite quickly, centralizing the football, trying to carve it down the middle. Barella and Brozovic trying to contain Catrone. Empoli playing some really good football here. Top tier passing. They've snuck out the back. Sammy has been crossed his goal, unfortunately. And uh, Catrone, former Wolves man, makes it 1-1. If we don't get back into this match quickly, we could start off today's episode with a draw, which would be really disappointing against a team like Empoli, who are definitely a bottom half side. And will we get a last-minute winner here? Can we do it? Lukaku, come on, someone, just get a shot away. Ah! Now they stuffed it. The boys ended it in a draw, 1-1, which sucks. All right, back in the Champions League, we've got the battle for the top, which is huge. Real Madrid are currently there, followed by us in second, and it's really between us and Shakhtar. But we can go top of the group if we're lucky. Champions League, let's go. Away at the Santiago Bernabeu, the first half was really quite quiet. We managed to somehow get a really good tackle here against Eden Hazard and Real Madrid, pushing way too many players forward. Lukaku running on the counter-attack with the Ronaldo chop. Somehow finds Brozovic back. Lautaro finds Barella. He must go all the way himself. And he does a tackle in. And we somehow sneak an 89th minute winning goal there. Would you believe it? Brilliant. Barella makes it 1-0. In the pouring rain at San Siro, our Champions League form has by far been better than us in Syria this season. Look at that. Cool, calm, and collected. Elegant. The Italian stallion on the football. Look at him go. Just cruising. Cruising <laughs> with the football at his feet. Picking up a 90th minute winner. And thus, Inter Milan's claim to be top of the group stage. Hell yeah, baby. And begin the knockout rounds now for that to come. All right, match against Venezia. We're slipping a bit. 13 games played with 25 points. We sit in fifth. Could be doing better. Did better in the Roma series, if we're being honest, in the league at this stage. Venezia away in Venice. Let's go. Let's get stuck into the Lagunas. <laughs> That's my favorite nickname for... Venezia, Venice, Lagunas because of all the lagoons. <laughs> and uh, fucking Venice is literally on a fucking pontoon. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Anyway, we're trying to build something up here. Not the top tier best Italian side, but we still got to be cautious. Seeing as we can draw against a team like Empoli and Samp. But Lukaku gets the first cross blocked, keeps on going, squares it to Mkhitaryan. He puts his name on the score sheet in the 43rd. And once again, Mkhitaryan has been one of our utmost clinical players. And I don't think I've... When I was at Venice, I can't remember seeing skyscrapers. <laughs> I was thinking of all the beautiful bridges, architecture, the pooey water. I can't remember seeing a fucking skyscraper. It's been a while. It's been 10 years since I've been there. <laughs> so it might have changed, but I don't think so. I think something, one of these things is not like the other here. <laughs> anyway, we're 1-0 up. Hopefully we can hold on. With uh, Lotaro there with a pretty nice tackle. Can we create something? Lukaku with a little bit of skill there, but we did lose possession of the football, unfortunately. But Venezia... The black, orange, and green. I kind of like it. The badge looks pretty sick as well. And obviously all... The historical nature with Venice being its own country. Hell, being its own republic. The Republic of Venice. Known for its trade and tactiles and shit. Pretty cool. Second half, 1-0 up. Inter looking for... 
their second, and they might get it here if Barilla can find Lukaku, and he does. Absolute poacher in the box. Romelu Lukaku makes it 2 0 before the 63rd. And once again, continuing to increase his goal volume and output. Great ball in. Lukaku slams it into the back of the net. 2-0 up against Venezia. We're putting that memory of losing to Empoli at the start of the episode, drawing against Empoli at the start of the episode, um, to the back of our head. We need to be picking up maximum points against these lower teams, like most definitely. Mkhitaryan looking for Inter's third and might get it with Lukaku. Tackled. Barella. Gets the curling shot, but it wasn't enough. That's a pretty good save by the Venezia goalkeeper. I'm not even going to lie. As Inter have one last attempt here to potentially make it 3-0. Or it's most definitely going to end in a 2-0 victory for Milan. Brozovic going to bring it in. Cool, calm, and collected. Puts his laces through it. Airily somehow finds Skrinje and makes it 3-0. And I'm kind of blown away <laughs> that the centre-back got onto that. I'd love to see him in the Premier League, to be honest. Like, he's such a good defender. Like, I don't care who he signs for. Just someone in the Premier League, he'd be sick. And we end that match there 3-0. One of the good-looking matches of the season. All right, back in the league, we got a match against Lazio. With that victory over Venezia, we rock it up to fourth place. With Napoli at the top, surprisingly. Hosting Lazio. Let's get stuck into the side from Rome. 20 minutes in. Lazio look better of the two of us, to be honest. In Moble, Johnny, back heel. We somehow stopped the attack, but now we've created a massive counter-attack. And check this out. Barella, Lukaku, screaming forward. It's actually Mikatarian who has the space. He now goes forward, somehow beats one, finds Lukaku, Lautaro, Barella, back to Lautaro, nice one-two pass, finds the connection, and boom, chakalaka. Lautaro Martinez puts his name on the score sheet, and let me know in the comments. Place your bets. Who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer by the end of the season? Will it be Lukaku? Will it be Lautaro? Will it be Mikatarian or Dabala? I don't know. My money's on Mikatarian, um, but... It's either going to be one of those three, I think. Crazy. If one's slipping, the other one scores. They're both so... They're all unselfish as well. Like, none of them are really hogging the goal-scoring opportunities. As we take the 1-0 lead over Lazio. A lot of good players. Would love to see if Milinkovic Savic would join a... Well, like, another Premier League side as well. As a great ball gets floated on in. Uh, Mikatarian with the left footer, finds Lukaku, who smashes it to claim Inter's 2-0 victory against Lazio. I find that we're not we're not suffering in the forward line. Like comparing this to my Roma series, we were scoring, we were winning like one 0 here and there, which was really sketchy, and we were con and we weren't conceding. However, in this, we seem to be conceding weird goals quite often. But it's really like, look, ideally in career mode, if I can score two, three goals, and I concede one. I'd be happy. Like, I'd be happy with that all the time. Because that's like a good show of gameplay. Like, it shows our weakness, but we also can show our, like, attacking strength and quality. I'd rather than, like, a 1-0 victory. But hey, it's very Jose Mourinho. But, however, Lukaku's only scored 5 in 15. So, it's not as much as you think. But, to be fair, uh, what month are we in in the calendar window? We're, yeah, so we're in December. So we're still pretty early on in this career series. I'm going to sim this match, by the way, because we've already qualified. And we'll play the last match of today's episode against Calgary, who have a pretty good side. Godin in the defense. Former Atleti defender. He was one of my favorite defenders back in the day. 20 minutes in. Our defense has had to be on point. As Brozovic, nice little bit of skill, finds Lautaro Martinez. And we're away again. Barella a familiar face. Did he play for Calgary? I don't know. I don't know Barella's full history. But that's kind of cool if he's back at his home crowd. Oh, and he scored as well. 
Will he celebrate? Of course he will. Big fist up to the ultras as well. <laughs> oh, that's toxic. Barella the Brute. <laughs> One nil up against Calgary. They're making some tactical substitutions. Can we pick up our secondary goal to stamp our victory on this match? Brozovic looking to bring it in. Oh my god, if fucking Skrinia gets to it. Barella. Dumfries. Finds Lukaku. Oh wow. It's an unlikely goal scorer. Dumfries. We've actually had a couple. Skrinier and Dumfries. Two defenders scoring in quite recent memory. Oh wow. Dumfries recently joining Inter in memory. Um, looks like he could be on the move in real life. A lot of players want him. And that's how we're going to end things here today. A 2 0 victory over Calgary. Still fighting for that top four position, and we're in the knockout rounds of the Champions League, coming out in episode five, coming out tomorrow. So I hope you're enjoying this inter-series. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm scoring a lot of good goals, a volume of goals as well, compared to the Roma series. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and sub if you haven't already. Would really much appreciate it. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.